Hello everyone, my name's Leopold and welcome back to Sonic Mania Plus Encore Mode. Um, so right now we're in Lavery. Um, I like the little visual effects they added here. This is really neat. Um, we're actually near the end of the game. But we are going to get the bad ending because I'm a scrub and I wasn't able to get the uh, Chaos Emeralds. Like, not one of them because those damn stages are hard now. Like, they made them really hard. I was surprised. I was like, oh my god, this is difficult. Well, <laughs> back to being Ray. Oh, snap. I didn't believe it when people said that Mighty's uh, ability is... Uh, one of his abilities is that he can uh, not take damage from spikes the first... Uh, the first hit, which is actually pretty useful. Still prefer playing as Ray, though. Like, overall, I prefer playing as Ray. Damn. Bruh, that's so useful. Like, holy crap. Ah, damn. Nice. Is there anything over there of course? Oh, there is. I really don't have much to say. I just gotta say that I love the little visuals. I think there might be a special stage here, so let's see. Nope, they took it out. That sucks. Okay, here we go. Run up here. Alright, pretty easy so far. I have to say that I'm a little bit disappointed with this mode, only because I figured that they would be like super hard mode stages. Um, because they added like different color- what the- okay then, never mind. <laughs> the game is like calling my bluff now. Oh my god. Whoa. But I mean, even that wasn't that hard. Like, it reminds me of Sonic Lost World 3DS. But every stage in the hard mode of that game had uh, had uh, been purpleized for whatever reason it was turned purple. Every single stage. Not to mention that the hard mode in that game was garbage. I never finished it. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Here, here, Mighty, you take the wheel. Oh, I see something up there. Nice. But with this, I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed because I figured that it would be, like, um, a lot harder than it is. But since I've played Mania so many freaking times, so many times, so many times, I'm having, like, not that hard of a time with this. Like, I've had a few times. That's really it. Just a few times. And you know, that's to be expected. Woohoo! Oh, I could have probably taken a path up there if I was Ray. Or not Ray. Yeah, Ray. Um, or if I just turned into Tails. Damn it, I thought I could make that. Slow me down. Damn. Um, really the only thing in Encore mode that I would say is harder than the main game is, uh... Is really just the, uh... The special stages. I haven't beaten a single one of them, and getting to them is really difficult too. 
because like they moved some uh, special stage locations, which really sucks. Because like it means that people that have like played through the game so much, they gotta readjust. But you know what? We gotta get good. I mean, games would be no fun if. Okay. All right, some bosses I can say are a little harder. Like this one right here, I'm having some trouble. But then again, I usually have super forms by now. And I don't have that right now because uh, I can't beat a single freaking special stage. I looked at a video of all the special stages and I'm like, oh my god. These would be super emerald special stages if, uh, if they could be. Like, god damn. Because they were so freaking difficult, man. They looked like it. And I can't even beat one. Oh man, it's gonna take me hours to beat the other ones. That's probably something that I'm gonna do. Mm, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. This is pretty. Alright, I like this. This is neat. What the hell? Oh my god, I hate this. Let's just go. Okay. There we go. I really kind of wish that Mighty could break through these things, like Knuckles, but then again, that wouldn't really make much sense. Because Knuckles has those little fist knuckles, you know? Oh, now I'm Sonic and Ray. Oh, snap. That was nice. Alright. Okay. Some people are a little disappointed that they didn't like add much in terms of new tracks, and that. Um, and to be honest, I don't mind that because you know many a soundtrack is already fine how it is. But that's just me, you know. Like I didn't expect much from Encore mode, anyways. And for five dollars, I'd say that you get your money's worth. To be brutally honest, some people feel ripped off that two characters in an extra mode shouldn't be $5, but, I mean, Super Smash Bros. 4 had a bunch of extra characters that were like 3 or $5 each. I forget, I'm pretty sure they were all like 4 or 5 bucks. I'm pretty sure. And some characters were like a little bit extra because they came with a steak. Like maybe $6? I don't know, I just feel like, you know, people should remember that uh, certain things do have value. And you know, for what it's worth, you're basically a getting replay value for a game that's already worth 20 bucks. Worth the 20 buck price tag, so. And you know, if you want the physical edition, you have to pay 30. That's for the five, no. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, that's for the five dollar DLC and you get extra stuff, like an art book, and the ability to, you know, switch the, uh, you get a little cover, you know, that I was gonna get, um, and you can just switch the cover over so that it looks like, you know, getting a cartridge, say your dentist's cartridge, I'm gonna switch the ray, and I'm just gonna have him fly up here, yeah. And for that, it's worth like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, it's worth the 30 bucks. It really is. Come on, yo. Ah, nice. Nice. We're surviving out here. Ah, oh, we can't get through there because we don't have knuckles available to us. Because we all know that unlike Sonic, you don't chuckle. Oh, snap. Got that. Alright, let's see who we turn into. Tails? I can deal with Tails. Alright. I mean, it, just to dis start a little discussion about DLC in general, um, personally, I'm fine with paying for DLC. Depending on what it is. And depending on the game. 
Like with Breath of the Wild, I bought that game twice, and I bought the DLC twice. Did I feel ripped off? No. I do feel like it, uh, for the price tag it is, it's worth that price. However, I also feel like some of the stuff that's included in the DLC should have easily been in the base game. That way, we could get that, like, the free updates, you get, you have more people interested in the game for longer, um, and you don't, like, feel like you rip people off, you know, because I felt ripped off whenever I was like, so we have to pay to get, um, what's essentially hero mode, because all Zelda games, well, most Zelda games, have a hard mode built into them, you know, that's, like, it's just been how it is. And then you have Breath of the Wild, which doesn't have that. It has DLC. Oh, snap. Okay. Alright, so this is actually Knuckles' boss fight. Why is the Master Emerald purple? They could have changed the color, man. This is like a lot easier than the Knuckles version, I swear. Oh shit. Well then. Um. But yeah, if you want to get Mania for 20 bucks as a download, then that's fine. I, at this point, I would just say get Mania Plus because you get more stuff. And because, like, it's only $5 more. And you're getting so much stuff. So I would say that Mania Plus is more worth your money than just buying Vanilla Mania and then buying the DLC. Unless you really don't want the art book and the extra uh, reversible cover. Or you don't want it physically. But me personally, I prefer physical copies. Oh snap. Okay. A nice little reference to Hidden Palace Zone. Oh snap. Okay. Metallic Madness. Sporting that little... Uh, I think this is the bad future? I don't know for sure. Mm, I'm gonna stay aside. We haven't played enough as Sonic and it's his own game. What what sorcery is this? It's like how nobody plays as Mario in his own game. <laughs> like, unless you have to, like. Do you think I choose Mario and Mario Tennis Ace? Hell no. Like. <laughs> no, I actually play. I haven't played Mario much. I usually like sometimes play him, but not always in spin-offs. Um, but for Mario Tennis Aces, I stick with Rosalina, and I also, um, uh, I also really, uh, got good at using Peach, um, in the demo. Um, so I just stuck with that. Oh, that's cool. It's like green in the background. Okay. I mean, no matter who I choose in that game, I can't win to save my life. So, wow, I'm back to being Mighty and Ray. But now I'm Mighty. All high and mighty. Literally, now I'm high and mighty. Oh, snap. Alright, there we go. What the heck? Screw you, dude. Lost all my rings. Oh, there was something up there. Oh, well. When Smash Bros comes out, I'm probably gonna use Mario sometimes, if that helps any. Bruh. <laughs> I love Mighty. That's so cool. Like, that's actually really cool. Okay, here we go. Come on now. No! Ooh! Oh, snap. Dang it. I was hoping to get that first try. Second try is the charm. Like, if it wasn't for that platform. Ugh. Here, you know what? Ray, it's your time to shine. 
Haha! <laughs> Suck it! I feel like Ray is gonna be like really, really popular for speedruns because of his freaking glide. That glide is too good. Oh my god. Where are these saws coming from, man? And you know, like, despite all these little extra hazards, this really isn't as hard as I figured it probably would be. Like, I figured Encore mode would be like, New Game Plus. Harder difficulty, um, but basically the same game. And in that case, it sort of is, but at the same time, it's not really. Like, it's not technically hard mode, but it kind of is, in some respects. Like, it's all the same bosses. Some of them are easier, and some of them are harder, apparently. And I'm like, why would you make some easier? Like, that, that just seems really fast backwards to me. I don't know. But what was I talking about again? Before I got went on that tangent of uh, not using Mario in his own games, um, because I was I hadn't been using Sonic much. All right, DLC. Um, really, for me, it depends on what content content is in the DLC. Um, like for a lot of games, it's standard to have a new game plus. Like, um, you know. Go back through the game again, but now you have uh, everything that you obtained in the main game, like your uh, previous playthrough. Oh my god, man, I suck at this. Like, this isn't that hard. It's the Sonic 1 final boss. There we go. Now we're in the second phase. And, um, you know, personally... Oh shoot! Oh no! You know, personally, I felt like I got my money's worth whenever I paid the five dollars, and I'm almost at the end of this mode. That's just me, though. Like, not everybody's gonna see the value in it. Not everybody thinks that this should have been five dollars. Like, maybe three dollars. I don't know. I, I personally think that five dollars is a more round number, and I like that because I'm OCD like that. <laughs> I will take that. Yeah, that's the duo right there, Mighty and Ray. All right. <sighs> Moving on to Metallic Madness Act 2. Now, why would I want to get that? Okay. And, you know, the bulk of um, Breath of the Wild DLC is the story, the extra story, and the uh, and the Trial of the Sword. And personally, I think that the Trial of the Sword is something that should have been added in a free update. And that's just my two cents, because it's basically the equivalent of the uh, Savage Labyrinth from Wind Waker and the Cave War deals from Twilight Princess. That's what it is. And, you know, getting having to pay in order to get the Master Sword to be at full power at all times is really, really dumb. Oh my god, man. So I'm really hoping that the next Zelda game doesn't do this. Oh my god, look at them! They're so adorable! Oh, so <laughs> Don't die, Ray! Look at them, they have big ass fucking heads. <laughs> okay. That's so cute, man. Oh no! Oh snap! Oh, I'm getting a little distracted now. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we're big. We're big again. Mm. Nice. All right. There we are. Yeah. Okay. I really don't have much else to say about Breath of the Wild's DLC, honestly. Um, you know, I don't think it was a ripoff. 
I feel like, you know, it's worth the $20, it's just that a lot of it should have just been in the base game, or like added through free updates. And you can't tell me, oh, well, Breath of the Wild didn't have any free updates, or free extra things added in through updates. Yes, it did. Like, I'm a Zelda nut, okay? Um, I played a majority of Zelda games. The only Zelda games that, like, I have interest in playing that I haven't played yet are, um, Hyrule Warriors and maybe, uh, Minish Cap, because I've heard good things about that one. I don't know, I never was really a big fan of the, uh, GBA-style Zelda games. Because I played Four Swords Adventures, or Four Swords, not Four Swords Adventures. And I wasn't really a big fan of it. I don't know, I just felt like because I was playing single player, um, I was kind of being robbed of the experience. And remember guys, Amy's not in an Encore mode, she's not in Mania, just that one little uh, thing. Damn. Oh my god, I'm gonna die on it. Like I said, I'm usually super for this, so... Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, I think it actually drops fire. Come on now. This is getting hard to keep track of. Where am I at? Oh no! Ooh! That was close. That was so close. Alright, come on now. Drill boss from Sonic 2. There we are. Alright. Now we just gotta avoid these little pellets. The Mega Man pellets. And there we go. Let's go. Ray got through Act 2. Okay. Whoa. Oh, snap. Ugh, okay, I can see why people thought that this color looked ugly, because it kind of does. Like, this is a nasty ass looking gray. Alright, Titanic Monarch, last level. Because I am definitely not getting the good ending of this. I'm getting the shit ending. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I'm playing his knuckles because I can go up here and skip. Yeah, skip. Ah, you gotta love those skips, guys. Gotta love those shortcuts. Okay. And you know, um, really the Breath of the Wild DLC, you know, to continue on with that. Is worth it if you like the story and characters from the main game. Me personally, I don't give a fuck about most of the characters from the game because they're all really one note and kind of bland. Um, but that's me. That's just my personal opinion. I thought that the game for a game that has a story that's so reliant on character relationships really had some weak character interactions and relationships and it was really a more tell don't show story um damn uh, i don't think the addition of voice acting really did anything to help tell the story better is all i'm trying to say like some voice actors are really good and some of them are like perfectly cast but some of them really don't fit like, why is why does Zelda have a British accent? Like, did anybody look at Zelda and think, yeah, that she should have a British accent? Now I'm just ranting. And you know, her characterization wasn't all that great either. Um You know, I just if you've seen the story of the game. I just feel like, um, because they don't really do a very good job, um, 
establishing things in the game um, because it's told through disjointed cutscenes. Um, I feel like her actions aren't like earned or warranted, but that's just me. Okay, let's fly up here and see what's new. Maybe we can find a special ring. Nope. Let's see what this does. Oh, now I'm mighty. Let's see what we do now. Now I'm Knuckles. <laughs> like Sonic, I don't chuckle. But, um, but I digress. I'm not gonna get into, um, Breath of the Wild stuff whenever. I should be playing Sonic Mania and having fun. And I am. This is pretty fun. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Alright. I do not remember this path at all. So this must be all new. Oh, yeah, can't go over there. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. I'm really looking forward to finishing this game. Because, uh... Um... No, I'm gonna have to spend all of tomorrow trying to get all the chaos on the- Oh, shoot. Okay. Ooh, ooh! I feel like that's gonna crush me. I feel like it is. I don't know, I just- I don't trust this. Alright. Okay. I think we're almost at the- Ooh! Oh my god. That clench. I just like, I don't, ugh. Okay, I just gotta do one of these bonus stages just to like take the edge off of the, all that. Nice. I don't know how many rings that gives me, but. Rings deposited. Rings deposited, what does that mean? There we go. Alright. Let me see if I can get a flame shield. That would help out so much. Damn, more rain. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get that flame shield before we, uh, get kicked out of this. I wonder if we can actually finish this. Finish these bonus stages. Like, finish, finish. As in, there's like a top. Ah, dang. I must say that I like how, um... Ooh, nice! Continue! Alright. That is not what I needed. Oh, snap! There's more! Dang it! Uh, I, I want to see if I can get to the top. Come on now. Dang it. I like this music, by the way. There's not much new music, but I think this is one of the new pieces. And you can... I don't think it's done by t Folk Or t Lopes. Oh, gosh. Come on now. Come on now. Let me see if I can... Mm, get up there. Get your fat ass up there, Sonic. Damn. Ugh. Oh, dang. I was going to show y'all the end of these uh, bonus stages, but I guess I can't because I suck. And uh, just a minor uh, note, you cannot control Tails whenever your Tails and Sonic in Encore mode. Which is a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, oh well. It's weird that um, this boss, which is Red Eye, um, now has a green one. Aw, oh, shit. There we go. 
Easy peasy. This is a lot easier than the uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Or Sonic 3 and Knuckles boss. Damn it. Oh, I hate this. I say this as I get mad at the... Uh... There we go. Now the table to turn. As we go into the second phase. There we go. Easy peasy. We only got hit, what, three times? Four times, maybe? Sonic got through Act 1. That took five and a half minutes. Goddamn. <laughs> okay, going up for the final level of the game. Oh, Tails. Tails just cannot get a break. Because if you saw the end of Sonic Mini Adventures, that face he made is going to become a fucking me. I can already tell. Let's see what we get. Bubble shield? Alright. Why did I do that? I just traded a Lexus for a Kia. Oh no! Ah! And now I have nothing. Alright. Oh, what? Okay. I remember when I first played this Titanic Monarch Act 2, I, uh, it was so confusing for me. I was like, what am I supposed to do? But now it's, like, not that difficult. It's, like, so easy. I mean, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. You basically have to clear all the rooms. That's really it. Oh my god. If I could do that without dying, that would be nice. It would be funny if we actually had Sonic for the final boss. Like, that would be great. Woo! God damn! Now, all we need to do, like, to make this final boss, like, incredibly easy, is to get an electric shield. So I'm gonna try and do that. Oh no! Ugh! Yeah, that's right. Fastest one. Fastest character of them all now. Woo! Oh my god. Alright. Now I just gotta hang on to 50 rings and get into a bonus stage. As a matter of fact, there it is. Alright. Now my aim isn't characters. Of course, it's getting... Uh... What is it? The electric shield. How did I forget that quick? Ooh! That was close. Alright. Electric shield. Come on. Damn. Wow. Now I get the flame shield. Now I get the flame shield. Okay. I see how it is. Alright. Redemption. What the? Fuck? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna see if we can get to the top then. Just to be... Come on now. I might actually get a continue. I kinda have to wonder if this is a remix of anything. Oh shoot. Because for all I know, it could be a remix of, uh... Something from Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what this is supposed to be. Some... Damn! Uh, some, uh... Bonus stage from Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I hate this part. So you gotta be, like, precise with where you are, or else you will get crushed. Because the collision the collision detection in this game, which killed me earlier in Chemical Plant, will screw you over. Alright? It's just like Sonic CD's collision detection. Because Christian Whitehead loves Sonic CD. Oh, thank you, Tails. Thank you so much. You, you are a lifesaver for once. Alright. Oh snap. If I didn't have invisibility frames, I would have lost my flame shield. Oh, what the heck? Here, let me see if I can get back up there. Oh, we found this route. Whoa. Nice. Oh, 
how much you want to bet they probably removed that electric shield knowing that you could get them in the bonus stages. Oh crap. Oh no. Okay. I just gotta hold on to my uh, rings. Hold on to them. Oh my god. Ooh! That was close. That was close as hell. No! Oh my god. It's like it was building up to my failure. Oh my god, man. Those are definitely new. Oh my- Ooh! This is the only one that they made a tad more difficult. But even then, I haven't lost a character yet. So I don't feel challenged. Ugh. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Possibly. Ooh. Alright. Get out of here. Not in my kitchen. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god. I would have jumped up and hit those, man. Because I'm almost at 50. And in this game, or in this mode, you need 50 in order to... Oh my god. And there's no rings. I'm screwed, guys. I'm screwed. Unless... Oh, it's dead. Good. Screw you. No! No! I keep running into those things. Those man bear pigs. No! I'm super serial, guys. Man bear pig is still out there. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Now I gotta play careful. Hey, I want those rings. You can't keep me from my rings. I'm addicted to rings. Rings. Ugh. You can never grab too many rings. That's what Sonic taught me. Ugh. Oh man. There's not a spring there. Rip. Ah, uh, five minutes. Whoa. Alright. Aw, oh, there's none. Rip. Dang. Could've probably gotten one there. But no. I had to keep getting freaking hit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Me. Made it. No! Come on, man. At least I had the combined ring. That helped me out. Oh, yeah. I got almost all my rings back. I guess I don't have to go this way. I have to go this way. Ooh, that was dope. Combo. Ooh. Alright. Now one of my co-workers was talking shit, saying he could beat me with beat me at this game. Even though I already beat him in Sonic Adventure 2, and I'm trash at that game. And I'm like, my dude, I'm pretty sure that you're not gonna beat me at Sonic Mania. I've been putting like what? 50 hours on Switch and even more in general like probably like a hundred something 140 something so that's like 200 plus hours oh no they didn't they took out the checkpoint ah oh, those mother mm. okay they took out the checkpoint because they knew that you would try and meet the bonus stages to get oh my god those cheeky motherfuckers Alright. Alright. I see how it is. They don't want this boss to be easy. They don't want you to be able to cheese it like you could in the original. 
Damn. Well, you know what? This boss is still freaking easy as hell. The only things that are bad are these sections that I'm about to go to. These sections? I don't know. They might be difficult now. Oh, snap. There's like a little mini-boss there. I kind of wish that those were actually mini-bosses, but... Oh, well. There we go. Got one uh, tentacle uh, destroyed. Ooh. Now, some of you might be wondering, why didn't you attack him? Uh, until yeah. the very end of the attack. Well, because I couldn't. Or else I would have been fucked over. Oh my god. <sighs> Come on, Sonic, go up. <sighs> Ooh, that was close. His spike almost touched my spikes. Alright, we're gonna beat this game with Sonic. I mean kind of have to. It's, it's Sonic Mania. It's not Ray Mania. It's not Mighty Mania. It's not Knuckles Mania and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I hate these hands. Alright. So you gotta be careful here. Damn it! I got a ring back. I got two rings back. That's not bad. I'm glad the time resets too, by the way. I forgot to mention that you can actually turn off the time limit now, which is a really, really helpful feature. It means that you can explore the stages to your heart's content. Yes! Just two more hits. Well, two more tentacles left. Now we have the, uh, the next one, the Heavy Rider, which we did not have a boss fight against this time in Encore mode. All right, you gotta be careful here, because that, and that, oh snap, okay, all right, all right, oh snap, come on, man. <laughs> My rings were in the double digits for like five seconds and I got hit. I wish I could just have Tails go over there and fuck him up, but sadly we can't. You like sick him, Tails? Mmm. One more hit and then the tentacle's gone. But now we gotta go back to the heavy... I think the heavy... Which one are you again? <laughs> heavy... I don't remember. Damn, I know there's a heavy gunner. Heavy Rider, that was the one we just faced. There's the Heavy Magician, which uh, we don't face in this. And there's the Heavy King. Yes! Alright, one more left. Remember guys, this boss is really easy. Even without the Electric Shield. Let's go! Sonic and Tails beat the final boss. How... How fitting is that? Ooh! Oh snap! <gasps> All... Oh, that's it! Dang! I got beaned! Remember guys, I'm a scrub! So I didn't get to get the good ending! Ah, oh, dang! So it's gonna be a cliffhanger! Until next time, that sucks. All right, so, um, oh man, now my hot dogs are cold and my buns are like, um, oh, for a second there, I thought that guy's name said Brad Fuck. <laughs> um, no, that was Brad Flick. Um, but I had made some hot dogs. I put them in the microwave like right before recording this and now they're cold and my and the buns are like all dry. Which sucks, but I'm about to just like put them back in the uh 
I was about to say washing machine because I need to wash my clothes. But I meant um, I meant the uh, microwave. I'm just so all over the place. Like Jesus Christ. All right, so my thoughts on Sonic Mania Plus is encore mode. Um, personally, I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm glad that they added in some new content to justify. Excuse me. Um, the five dollars. Uh, some people might not think that it's worth five dollars, but personally, I think that the extra mode, you're getting new bonus stages. Um. original music um, you're getting new bonus stages a new ending um, new transitions well apparently the new transitions and the new boss is like free stuff but honestly I still think it's worth the five dollars you're you're still getting an entire new mode and two new characters I think I would say that's like justified five dollars not to mention that level design has been altered um, to fit Mighty and Ray uh, with new pathways. Um, so yeah, really, um, Sonic Mania Plus is for people who missed out on the original release. I didn't miss out on the original release. I couldn't. Like, I, I, I had to tell myself, don't you dare miss out on this. And I didn't. Um, so really, if I have any recommendation, I love Sonic Mania, and um, at this point, I don't think that the digital version is worth it. Um, like, you can get it if you don't like physical copies, but um, if you do uh, like physical copies like myself, then go ahead and get the Plus version. You'll get more stuff. You'll get more for your money, because it's $30, you're getting a $20 game, um, an art book uh, for five dollars pretty much and you're getting the extra content for five dollars so it's a twenty five dollar game plus five dollars worth of stuff so I mean to me that's a steal if I'm being brutally honest so yeah, that's just my two cents on uh, Mania Plus. And Mania in general is just a great game. You know, it's worth $30. It was already, like, really, uh, really worth the $20 price tag. But now that it's raised up $10, is it worth it? Yes. Yes, it is. And, you know, some people, like I said, don't like digital versions or digital games. They prefer physical copies. And... You know, that works. It does. Also, the music is just amazing. Like, I love this song. I wish they did a uh, Friends Plus. Like, they did Time Trials Plus uh, with June Sonoe. I wish they did Friends Plus. Like, I feel like Time Trials Plus was just, like, a taste of what's gonna get be in Teen Sonic Racing. I can't wait to hear the music for that game, because, you know, hearing that Crush 40 is doing the music, I wouldn't want anybody else to do the music for a Sonic-centered racing game. And, uh, sadly, I am going to be getting that game on my Switch, and probably not on the PS4, so I won't be recording any footage of it, um, but what's to come after this? Well, I'm going to show off the extra stuff. Now you've already seen all the new transitions, but since I was a freaking weenie and I didn't uh, use Tails, uh, you can't see uh, the new animation that he has in Chemical Plant Zone, so right quick before I end this episode, I'm going to watch that, or I'm going to show you guys that. And uh, not only that, well, I might not. It depends. I don't know when I started recording this. I think it was at like 11.20. We might have plenty of time. I'm probably just going to do it. Um,
Um, but anyways, so yeah, um, that's really it. I don't have much to say, so I'm just gonna wait for the credits to roll. Um, anything else that I'm gonna show? Well, I gotta play the game on my own time, and I gotta get Mighty and Ray's super form so I can show those. Um, that shouldn't be too hard. I'm just gonna go through the story with them. Uh, you know, on my own time. And, uh, I'm glad that we were able to beat the, uh, whole, um, mode with all five characters. That really does make me happy. So, like, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this, uh, case. I got a Sega Genesis case. And I printed out a little thing for Sonic Mania so I could put it in there. And I just love it. it it's holding my cartridge right now. I might show that on camera um, in a different video, but I doubt it. Right now, I'm just, like, rambling on. I'm wondering why these credits are so long. I might, like, skip through. Nah, I won't skip through. Because I didn't even, like, do a full playthrough of the original game. So, gotta give credit where it's due, right? Oh, there we go. Right at the end of the credits. Nice. Damn, Sonic's just like, you're a fucking loser. You didn't get a single Chaos Emerald. Ah, Way to make me feel like shit. Alright, so that took me two... Um... Two hours, one minute, and thirty-six seconds with no Chaos Emeralds. Not a single one. Okay. So now we have five lives. Alright, let's jump back in with Green Hill Zone. Oh, that really sucks. You can't replay, um... You can't replay, uh... Angel Island. That sucks. I want my money back now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really don't. I really don't care, honestly. Um, you know, I'm just glad that I got this because it's fun. It's good. Okay, so we're gonna speed through these two acts with tails. We're gonna be performing nice ass skips and shit. Uh, I'm not worrying about chaos emeralds since I'm still recording. But I will be getting those on my own time. And the next time we meet, I will be uh, showing off the final boss. Oh my god. I was, I was like, holy shit, don't die. Damn it. There goes my bubble shield. Nah, I don't need that. Damn it! Whee! Okay. Aw, oh, really? So back to this guy again. Dang it, why did I do that? There we are. Oh no, run! There we are. Okay. So that's done. I get no cool bonus. Because I'm not cool. I'm a fucking loser. I mean, have you seen all the Sonic shit that I have for somebody my age? That's... That's disgusting. Come on now. Okay, going through here. Jump! Nice. Aww. Oh. 
I guess if there's one thing I could show off for you guys, it's uh... It's that you can actually skip cutscenes. Which is really, really useful. Like, that's something that I really wish um, some other games had. Like, say the old N64 Zelda games. I wish those games had a skip button. I just restarted Ocarina of Time for my yearly playthrough. And because it's the 20th anniversary of the game. And I just realized that the 3DS version doesn't let you skip cutscenes. I don't know if that's how it was in the original. I just know that in the 3DS version you can't skip the damn cutscenes. And as somebody who knows the story so well, because I feel like if you don't know the story of Ocarina of Time, then that's like a sin against mankind. Um, it gets really tedious seeing the same story again and again and again. Every time. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna skip that. Oh, don't tell me it skipped the... It skipped the transition. Oh my god. Well then. Well, that's it. You know what? I'm just gonna like... That's it for this video. <laughs> I'll show it off in the next video. Because the next one's gonna be the finale. I'm just gonna have to work on uh, not having any Chaos Emeralds. And actually getting them. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Leopold. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And please, take care. See you guys next time.